munchkins and viewers alike. It's me, Munchie, and welcome back to a hamster food review. Today, I have a new product that I want to share with you guys called the All Living Things Market Medley Hamster and Gerbil Diet. And it's in a purple bag, so I really love that. That's what caught my eye. But it's a new food that PetSmart only is introducing. And so they also have a lab block diet as well. But today, we're going to be reviewing the seed mix just to see. <laughs> just a seed. <laughs> just a seed if it's a great food for you guys to try out. So today we're going to be looking at the ingredients and the crude analysis on the back and just to take a look at the very end to see if what we see inside is what we like and would like to feed our small hamsters. So let's take a look at the guaranteed analysis. Now before I start talking about this analysis, let me tell you what hamsters typically need as a standard. A standard should be about 18% crude protein with up to 24% being provided to pups that are still growing, especially Syrians. Uh, they need that type of protein, but then later on they don't need as much protein as adults. About 5-7% to for fat and about 15% for fiber. You want to at least still provide fiber, but it shouldn't be the main source because they are a protein-based diet. But you don't want to be providing a lot of protein that has a lot of fats in there, so you also got to balance it out and make sure that not a lot of fats are provided because there are hamsters out there like winter whites that are very diabetic. You got to be careful about their health. So this food has 14% protein, 5% fat, and 8% fiber. So it does not meet the protein and fiber standards. Also, I noticed on the back here too, as I was looking at the ingredients list, it doesn't appear to have any artificial colors or flavors. So that's good to see because I want it to be kind of all natural. And it says right here on the front too, no artificial colors or flavors. So yay, I am glad. I'm getting so sick and tired of seeing like yellow number five being added or blue number whatever being added. Just give us some natural looking food. We don't need you to spend your money on dyeing our food to appease us. You should be feeding our animals naturally. They really don't care about colorful pieces. So I'm glad that this is a one step in the right direction. So even though it doesn't say specifically what's in the bag, it does show it. So it does show sunflower seeds, peas, corn, which I'm not really thrilled with corn in our diets. A lot of corn in diets are filler based and I hate that, I absolutely do. But it looks like there's only one mention of corn in here. So that is great because if you see multiple listings ingredients, that have corn in them. They are just filling up empty calories for your hamster and it's just not really needed. So at least there's a little bit of corn. It's not the main ingredient, but it is still kind of up there. Corn is usually one of those big top ingredients. But anyways, back to what it looks like. And it looks like we have some wheat right here. So that is what you are gonna be getting visually, supposedly in this diet seed mix. Now let's go over the top 10 ingredients here. I'm gonna list them off. The first one is wheat, then milo, wheat middlings, millet, corn, sunflower seeds, soybean meal, oat groats, calcium, carbonate, and lastly, corn distillers dried grains with solubles. So that is the top 10 right there. So is there any ingredient splitting here? And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the term, ingredient splitting is when they take ingredient and they split it into a different form. Usually companies like doing this so that undesirable ingredients are kind of pushed down the list a little bit further. But in here, it looks like there is some ingredient splitting in the form of wheat and wheat middling, but nothing too major. All right, now for a variety test. We take just kind of like a little handful scoop, place it, and then take a look at what we see. Now on the left is gonna be sunburst, on the right is gonna be market midley. And if we take a look over on the right for market midley, it looks like there's some corn in there. We see little tiny fiber pellets. So for the market midley, it doesn't look as bright or colorful. That doesn't look like there's a lot of variation in here versus sunburst where you can see a lot of different colorful pieces in there and they do have some pretty cool raw ingredients versus the market midley which looks like there's only a couple ingredients that you can probably identify and it looks like there is big pieces of corn now I do not like it when companies put in just chunks of corn sunburst does have corn but it has corn flakes and so that's more appropriate you're not getting a whole corn in there it doesn't really need to be a huge part of their diet. 
but we do have some different variations of sunflower seeds. We got smaller looking sunflower seeds and really big looking sunflower seeds for Market Medley, as well as we do see some millet and milo in there, but that looks like that is what the majority of that food is versus the sunburst where you can see big long pieces, you see flakes, you see different textures and variations of food. I am very low on my sunburst formula, so unfortunately there is some pellets in there that you're not really seeing because I'm at the bottom of the bag. What's more appealing to you in your eyes right now? Is it the left side or is it the right side? Would you prefer to eat the left or the right? And I do want to make a note, the fiber pellets on Sunburst is a lot bigger and longer and you do see more of them. But if you look on the right side, their tiny fiber pellets, although small, look like they're kind of blending in because they don't really stand out with that color. So you might be thinking that they don't have a lot of fiber pellets, but there is a good majority of small fiber pellets on that side. So overall, I'm not too thrilled by the raw ingredients that I'm seeing in front of me here versus Sunburst, but the analysis isn't too bad off since it does compare very closely with Sunburst. But Sunburst does have more variety when it comes to ingredients. So closing notes. Now this is gonna be a two pound bag at the price tag of $6.99 at PetSmart only. So the ingredients in here are pretty average in my opinion when it comes to the amount and variety. But because this diet is so low in protein, you really need to add, if you're using this, a lab lock of some sort with the right amount of protein that your hamsters desperately need. Otherwise, I think my final overall observation of this food is, hmm, it's, it's like the crude analysis is very close to Sunburst, but it doesn't have as many individual ingredients as Sunburst does. It is very appealing to your animal, giving them a wide variety of flavors and textures. This to me feels like I want to recommend it, but there's better products out there. So it's, I wanna say a good food. It's an okay food. You're not gonna be screamed or yelled at if you're feeding your hamster this food, but you should be providing it with a lab lock included, but it's just not a food that I would personally be using. So it's a good food. Maybe not recommended by me if you can easily purchase Sunburst Higgins formula. So it's good for what it has, but there's better stuff out there. So that's my verdict today. I hope you guys enjoy today's kind of uh, review and analysis of this food in general. Tell me if you've seen this on the shelf at PetSmart by leaving a comment below and or telling me your opinions about this food out there. And if you are new here and would like to become a part of the Munchkin family, please subscribe. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next review of the Lab Lock formula because it is quite different and has a very different analysis in the back. I would love to review it for you guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.